Hey, I wanted to make a quick video on the fastest way to create tracers in DaVinci Resolve. If you're like me, you've scoured YouTube on how to make the best tracers, and those videos are awesome, but they were just too time consuming for me. It was taking 10, 15 minutes per tracer, and I was also losing my ball in the clouds. So then I was just going through and guessing where my ball was. So let's hop right into it. So first thing we're gonna do is go to Fusion. I like to hit one just to pop this up over here. And then we're gonna hit polyline stroke. And then you can come over here and play with the brush brush control well, brush controls. I like to go 0 0.005. It makes a really thin line. You can even change brush shape. You'll just have to play around with it. Make it a bright color, stroke controls, right on off. So then we're gonna go through keyframe to keyframe. Boom, hit the ball there. So let's zoom in 100%. All right. So in other videos, you go keyframe to keyframe to frame to frame to frame. And you're going to map this out. Boom, 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 boom. And then you're going to trace it all out. And I just think that takes too much time. So for me, we're going to go here. And whenever I lose the ball in the clouds, Let's just say here, I then lose it in the clouds here. So then I come back 50% and I remember exactly where my balls went the entire round for the most part. It's not going to be perfect. So I know I pulled this one just a little left and then we're going to go here and then we're just going to click there where it ends, drag this, then this point and then that and boom. There's the tracer itself. So if we go back to when we hit the ball, we're just gonna go right on, boom. And then you can go frame by frame. So let's just do there, and then kind of go a little bit more frames, and then like here, and then we'll go a little bit more, and then we know it's like here, and then a little bit more, and then here. And then I know that around 340 frames for me, is about exactly where my ball lands. So let's just end the tracer here, and then we'll come here, and I like to do a little one of these to get the tracer to exit off the video. And that took about a minute and a half, and then we're gonna come back to edit, control F. And I think that looks great. I mean, it's not perfect by any means, but it took me about a minute and a half, two minutes to do that. So if you have four people playing with you and you're creating a video, if you're going frame by frame and creating your tracer, we're talking 10 minutes. That's that's how, about how much time it took me. We're talking 10 minutes per person. So we're talking just to get off the first tee box, 40 minutes of tracers. And if you got 18 holes, I mean, we're talking 15 hours of creating tracers off the tee box. And that doesn't even include in the fairway. So we're talking 30 hours maybe on tracers alone not including editing the video and adding anything else you want to add. So it was super draining for me to sit there and create tracers. And then I was losing the ball in the clouds and kind of just guessing on where my ball was. So if I know where my ball ends and I know I kind of had a fade in this shot, I can kind of create a little curve on it. And as long as you just make this straight line, it looks good. And like I said, you can also go like frame to frame and even make it like more. So like if I just wanted to come here and go, oh, okay, let's write on there and then go a few more frames. That looks good. And then make sure we can write on here a few more frames. Oh yeah, that's looking all the way good. So then you come back to edit and you can really get it looking nice from the start. And then it's just, I mean, that looks amazing to me. And that took me two minutes. So we're talking about saving 20 hours of editing per video, maybe more. Um, like I said, I do think it is awesome if you do go frame by frame and map out the ball and you can even like follow the club or do anything. I just can't see the ball. It gets lost in the clouds. My camera, I'm using my iPhone camera, so it's not picking up super far away. If I had the equipment to see the ball that far and zoom in, I probably would take the time to go frame by frame. But this is just made the process of creating the tracer so much faster for me. I hope this helped you guys. If you guys create your tracers any other way, let me know. 
Um, I'm always open to suggestions. I'm still new to this, but this is just the way I found to be the quickest. If you enjoyed this video or it was helpful, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate you guys. See you next time.